Hello everyone, and welcome to the Do It Yourself Gourmet. Today, we are recreating that campfire experience. I mean, minus the wood smell, of course, but I think that toasted marshmallows and, you know, confections were always better with a little less wood smell, with the exception of a few things. So we've got our fire here, and we've got our marshmallows. Our marshmallows have been dipped in some deliciousness of cinnamon and sugar. And that cinnamon and sugar is going to recreate the churro effect. Now, there'll be another episode in which I show you how to make these marshmallows with the cinnamon sugar on it. But for now, we're using the Smashmallow brand cinnamon churro. And so what we're going to do here is take it to another level by toasting it on up. And so, we've got them. We've got the fire. We're going to start warming it up a little bit slow. You don't want it to get too melty inside before it gets toasty good. You want to make it balance and work all kind of at the same time. And so what you're going to do is roll it. This is a medium heat. Control the heat as need be. You definitely want to caramelize the sugar, but you don't want it to burn. You want to get it to that point where it's kind of like a churro creme brulee. And so you got to work with the heat in the different zones. Maybe move it around and twist it a bit, depending on how the sugar starts to caramelize. When you start to see the smoke, let up on it a little bit. Maybe lower the flame. Work with it depending on how yours is coming together. But the key is to get the edges nice and toasty. And you know, if you got yourself a little pocket flamethrower that'll do it, cool too. You can be a little more localized. But with the stove, if you want to please the kids and you want a good snack that they're going to love and remember, and you don't have to go out into the woods to recreate or the backyard and start a fire, then this is going to be the thing to do. You're getting to that point right before where it catches a little bit of fire. You don't want it to catch fire. You want it to get just set before. Now we're going to turn it up high for the last moment. Because at the last moment, the middle's already good to go. And you just want to finish off that sugar. Play with the heat a little bit, but don't let it catch fire. And that's where you're going to have the real trick of the trade. Is to get it all caramelized and good without burning. Because burning, that's where it's game over. And you get it, and you get it just before it, and you're good to go. But that's where you got to play with the fire. And you got to have, you know, either a good strong heat resistant set of hands or you got to have something to cover that and you get it nice and close on the bottoms hold it out to the edge there if you want the bottom to be a little extra there it goes right there starting to get itself in you got the top and the middle that it start to do its thing but you want to catch this one too so you work it out around the edges just like you would on a campfire except now it's a stovetop campfire and so we'll toast that right there let it get nice and toasty because it didn't get too much before you know, if you've got a longer kebab or pokey stick or skewer, however you use it, then go ahead with it. But there we go. We started toasting in. And you see it on the last steps here. As it comes into its own, boom, the bottom starts to go. We get them on the side at a slight diagonal. That way it toasts and melts the sugar into a nice caramel. Boom, there it comes out around the side again. Take it to the front. Let it sit there just but for a second. And it already starts. And there's your creme brulee. And there we are. That is a cinnamon toasted churro marshmallow, and this is courtesy of Smashmallow for the actual product, and we toasted it up. No sponsorship there, but they do make a pretty good product, so I'm giving them a little bit of love. Do-it-yourself gourmet, everybody. Enjoy, and we'll see you next time.